Justice League Cross Ruby, Superheroes and Huntsman Part 2 continues the action-packed crossover between the two teams as Kilgore and a rather evolved version of the Grimm take over Earth. As someone who really enjoyed the first part of this film franchise, it's safe to say that this instalment lived up to its predecessor. Part 1 didn't come out all that long ago, but the opening sequence to the second part gives a great overview of what happened, which means there's no requirement to re-watch the first film in preparation. In this film, the Justice League awake to the news that the Grimm have now taken over their world and in an attempt to save it, they have to team up with Ruby once again. The stakes are extremely high in this film and it's not only the Justice League and Team Ruby that have to take on these monsters as this acts as a perfect opportunity to, for these characters to team up with some unexpected ones. It seems Kilgore isn't working alone as we also get to see the bigger picture of their plan to destroy the Justice League. That plan involves changing everything that the Justice League and even Ruby know about the Grimm as they are now able to evolve to handle each of the heroes' power sets. I loved the animation in the first part, but it seems to have taken yet another step forward in the second. What I loved is that the designs and ideology of the Grimm, there are aspects that reminded me of classic films like Jurassic Park and Godzilla, and whether or not that was intentional, it was very welcomed. The action sequences are excellent throughout too, and there are many badass moments for both the Justice League and also Ruby, and the use of slow motion during some of the fight sequences really added a sense of awe to many of the scenes. I thought there was a great transition between the two parts. In the first part, the Justice League were much younger, and in this part, they're their usual ages, which means a brand new voice cast. Whilst it totally makes sense that their voices will have also changed, the voice cast are excellent in their roles, but it does take some getting used to, specifically Superman, who is voiced by Travis Willingham. His voice is unusually deep for such a character. That's not the only thing that's evolved. The same can be said for the character relationships. The dynamics have changed between them now, and this acted as an excellent opportunity to introduce new elements to their characters in terms of suits and power sets.